began yesterday, and we uh, it'll ship in March. It's 4K for 2K. ABC yes, for uh, 4K, and then ABC HD, and you can do a record in HD, and ABC HD, and uh, MP4. Your uh, ring to either zoom or focal priority. Uh, you have focus magnifier for your uh, for your uh, viewfinder. Uh, unique features like my voice cancel, uh, which is actually going to cancel voices from behind the camera uh, during recording. So if you're saying little Jimmy, get down, don't touch that. That won't be on the recording, but uh, you know the rest of the recording will be. Even have NFC available on this with Wi-Fi built in, so you can control from smartphone or other device in live view. It's typical 3.5. But then you have XLR adaption for the uh, mic uh, multi interface. 5.1 uh, recording. Tip, uh, typically goes to uh, stereo uh, in the format for 4K because of uh, encoding, right. mastering, and micro size. HDMI 1.4. Right uh, for example, yeah. our uh, larger capacity, the 100 series, you're looking at uh, approximately two, uh, approximately. We got the buttons on the side for shutter and stuff. Do you press the button and turn the dial or is it stepping button? You can actually set a priority to the dial independently from the buttons themselves. And you're selling this pretty much as a prosumer camera. Strictly consumer really. It's it's geared towards the consumer but it's it, 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 you got a neutral density uh, say, switch on the back. No consumer is gonna be wise enough. It, it, it gives the, the consumer the opportunity to begin to, to, within reach, capture their memories in 4K. But then, of course, we have more manual control and uh, uh, yeah. features for the prosumer market as well. There's, there's no reason the one prosumer market wouldn't overlap here unless they needed the higher frame rate, higher report speed. Or if they chose more manual control. Uh, I'm just surprised that, you know, you got a neutral density switch on consumer camera.